Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our show. Visit Chisago City, the town that moved. Sometime around 900 AD, the indigenous nation known as the Anishinaabe or First... This opened the floodgates to eager white businessmen. The St. Croix River Valley was on sale. In 1837, the steamboat Palmyra was the first to travel up river. convinced his friend, Per Anderson to bring his party of 100 Swedes to start the first Swedish settlement in the Shisaki. Why do you think so many people from Sweden came to this area of Minnesota? The boys didn't want to go into the army. The Swedish church wasn't very nice to other religions. Mm -hmm. In 1850 we took a little sail across the Atlantic Ocean where the westerlies prevailed. Traveled hard yard really wasn't easy. There wasn't nigh as many as there was a while ago. Well, I declare, if it isn't the extremely wealthy Isaac Bernheimer of New York City, that's what I'll name my lovely little town by the lake, Chisago City. Well, that's like Chicago, but with an S. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep buying all the land that I can. In 1857, Bernheimer had a two-story double mill built on the west shore of Chisago Lake with a drift. Oh, yes. Property taxes are written in ink. Sloppy penmanship. Just like a doctor. The first Chisago school district, number eight, was set up in 1859. And over the We're years... waiting for a substitute, Mrs. Bernson. Yeah, she's really old. I heard she taught my grandfather. <laughs> and George Washington. <laughs> Going by ox cart or walking was slow for families. How early would you have to leave for church with an eight mile trek ahead of you? The Chisago County seat has had quite the identity complex. The county seat should stay in Taylor's Falls. I disagree. Chisago City is the future. Center City's got the county seat. Gustafson's home was on the corner of Lake and Main where the Forest Hotel used to sit. Chisago City was now actually one mile south of the rail bed. Hold your horses, hold the press. The railroad's coming to town. We're Chisago City, the town that up and moved. Chisago. Walmart's new store was one of the first and very few lots sold by Bernheimer in the new Chisago village. I'm Otto, I'm Andrew, and we're the Walmart boys. We're brothers keeping busy, both confident and poised. We're I'm Reverend Paul uh, 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 excuse me, no, you, you're, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am, it says right there. But, but you, you don't look like him. I was much younger then. I was still getting to wear glasses, and I yeah, have more hair now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with a worn-out immigrant? What can you do with a worn-out immigrant? What By 1905, August and Alfred were shipping 150 rail cars of produce a year. Everybody knows that. One memorable fire was the Hotel of the Dollhouse Resort. 
Frank and Ida Dahl had created a legendary summer resort on 20 acres just south of town. <laughs> the Swedish writer, Wilhelm Moberg. Did you hear the one about the old Swede who loved his wife and almost told her? <laughs> oh. I just 